The iPad is packed with potential, but the real magic happens when you find the right apps to unlock it. Now, over the past few years, I've tested a ton of them. These are the ones that I keep coming back to. They're not just apps I downloaded and forgot about. They've genuinely earned a place in my daily iPad setup as a content creator. So if you're looking for apps that actually make the iPad feel more useful, more creative, and more fun, this list is for you. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, it's friends. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so this first app is called MD Vinyl, and it basically turns your iPad into a digital record player. You get this spinning vinyl right in the middle of the screen with your album art placed perfectly on top, and the tone arm actually moves when a track plays. It's super nostalgic, like listening to a record, but with the convenience of streaming. Now this works with both Apple Music and Spotify, so whatever you're using, you're covered. And what's cool is that it shows whatever you're listening to in real time, but the latest update takes it even further they've added this like 3d shelf style library view so now you can flip through your saved albums or playlists it feels like browsing a record shelf but like fully interactive and fully playable there's also a home screen widget i've got one set up that shows the vinyl spinning while i'm listening and it's one of those little things that just make the ipad feel more intuitive especially when i'm journaling reading or just like editing in lightroom and it's customizable too you can change the background swap out turntable designs even tweak the vinyl color i'm honestly obsessed with the customization options and it looks so cool on my desk now a couple things to know you do need an active apple music or spotify account unfortunately there's no support for like youtube music or local files and the free version is a bit limited, but honestly, the one-time purchase unlocks everything. No subscriptions, just like a one-time fee. And I found it actually worth it. Now, it's not replacing your main music app, but it makes listening feel more intentional and obviously a little bit more aesthetic. And for that reason, it's earned a permanent spot on my iPad. You know how ideas kind of just hit you in scenes or images? That's exactly why Milanote works for me. It's a creative whiteboard built for visual thinkers. Instead of locking you into some rigid format, you start with a blank board. You can drop in text, notes, images, checklists, links, and even mood boards. You can also move things around however your brain works best. This is where I break down full video ideas, shot lists, visual references for my YouTube videos. It's basically like the pre-production space before I even open up like Notion or Final Cut. And if I'm working on a longer YouTube video, I'll literally map it out from title ideas, important points, outlines, scripts, and all the way down to even like a publishing checklist. And because it syncs in real time, I can tag my manager, drop comments, assign her task, and we're pretty much good to go. They even have templates made for creators like storyboards, shoot planners, campaign boards, so you can really fit it to your specific workflow. Now it's not flawless, the free plan does have limits, so if you're trying to work with like big assets, you'll probably end up upgrading, but it's one of those rare apps that actually make the process of thinking like feel way more fun again. And for that, I think it's absolutely worth it. So Lightroom has been my go-to for photo editing pretty much since I started posting seriously online. And the iPad version is surprisingly powerful. It gives me all the same tools I rely on from the desktop, but with that added flexibility of touch and Apple Pencil support. Things like masking, color grading, and even healing brushes feel super intuitive when I'm using my hands. And because it syncs across devices, I can start an edit on the iPad when I'm out and finish it on my MacBook or even my iPhone later on. That's been a game changer for keeping my workflow flexible, especially when I'm juggling like a ton of content. I've also loaded in my custom presets so I can apply like a consistent look across all my shots. If you're posting photos regularly, Lightroom makes it super easy to stay dialed in. So this next one's called One Tap, and honestly, it saved me so much time. So it's basically a place to store stuff you're constantly retyping like links, bits of text, and even images. I use it to keep things like my email address, text templates, and anything I find myself typing out over and over. But the cool part is, is that you can organize everything into folders. So I've got a folder for personal stuff, one for brand stuff, one for social media links. It just makes it easy to stay consistent, especially when I'm sending out the same info to like different people. You can even mark something as a link, which is super handy for stuff like your YouTube channel or website. But here's a game changer. OneTap has its own custom keyboard. So instead of digging through folders, you can tap straight from your keyboard while typing in any app. And it's compatible with multiple devices. So you can also use it with your phone, super clutch. This next one's basically the brain of my entire creative business. If Milano is where ideas start, Notion is where they get structured. I use it to organize my content calendar, brand deals, project timelines, scripting, database, pretty much everything. Each video I make lives inside its own page with a status tag, upload tracker, talking point, and reference links all in one place. You can build custom templates and you can duplicate them and create entire pipelines with just like a click. Notion doesn't force a structure, so if you don't create your own, things can feel messy fast. But honestly, once you dial it in, it becomes insanely powerful. Oh, and if you want me to break down how I use Notion to like manage my creative business, 
let me know in the comments. I'll do like a full breakdown. All right, this next one is for people who get distracted easily. Now, if you got ADHD like me, Focused OS is hands down one of the best apps I've found for staying on task. Now, at first glance, it looks like a basic app, but once you start using it, you realize it's way more than that. You can set up focus sessions with custom names like editing or script writing or even like shooting B-roll. Each session can have its own duration, soundscape, and even a checklist of things to knock out while you're working. That way, when it's time to get stuff done, there's no second guessing. You just hit start and you're ready to go. I also love how it syncs across devices and can block apps and websites during your session on both the iPad and iPhone. So if I'm trying to edit, it'll literally stop me from checking any social media apps halfway through. It's super clean, minimal, and if you ever caught yourself doom scrolling, instead of doing what you need to do, this app is a must. Now this last one's more of a fun one. It's called DTD Playlist. It's a curated playlist built specifically for focus work. I stumbled across it while looking for something to replace my usual lo-fi beats, and honestly, it's awesome. There's something about it that helps me lock in, especially when I'm editing or writing. You can access it through their app or just save it as a playlist on Spotify or Apple Music. I've got it running pretty much every time I'm in work mode or making these videos. Plus, it's a beautiful looking app. I mean, I just love having it in the background. It's not a traditional productivity app, but if music plays a role in how you focus, this is definitely one to keep in your toolkit. So that's the list. Seven iPad apps I genuinely use every day. They've all earned a spot in this video because they help me be more creative and productive. Now, hopefully these these apps do the same for you. If you recently just got an iPad and you're trying to get more out of it, try a few of these out and see what clicks for your own workflow. And if you found this helpful, consider subscribing or dropping a like. And if you got any personal go-to apps, let me know in the comments. I'm always down to try new ones. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.